Hi everybody, Tetanus Risk here, back in the shed working on the 55 Chevy pickup truck. In the last video, uh, I had gotten the cab corner out and I've just been uh, plug welding up some of the holes or divots where I went too uh, deep with the drill. Um, some, some better than others. Um, so I'm going to grind those down. I've uh, cleaned up a bit. I got to uh, still flatten all this out and clean up the back side. Uh, you can see here that's got to be all shiny. So and I got to get in here somehow. Uh, I've cleaned up the inner cab corner here mostly. Still have to do this side right there where it uh, welds to the uh, outer rear cab um, so I'm gonna do a bit of that and I'll come back so I took the heads off the plug welds here and I cleaned up the far side of the uh, inner pillar and I got thinking about the outer cab corner and how if I uh, plug weld this into place that I'm not gonna have the freedom and access to fit all this up so I started looking at that and I put the step in of course and I just wanted to check fitment and uh, now the cab corner and the step are made by two different companies so it's not the best fitment let me get comfortable here not the best fitment but with a bit of coaxing it's not horrible these two aren't running planes aren't running at the same angle so um, I guess I'm gonna have to cheat and just uh, find a middle ground um, I'm also gonna trim this off back here I've already put the tape on it I have lots of the old cab cap corner down way down or yeah the cap corner rear cab um, down to here so cutting that off there um, I want uh, I want the radius here as a reference I got a reference down here where I cut that off where the bottom of the step should be um, I still have to do some trimming here in here so this sits back further not much but I want to fill that gap in it's got to go that way a bit more this one too See the gap there? Oh, there it just kind of disappeared. So, um, the other thing is there's supposed to be a lip coming off of this. And it's this is all pretty poor in here, so I might end up putting a panel in there. I tried to uh, just put some plug welds down there, and I just kept chasing rust holes around, so... Or blow through around. Um, so... Yeah, yeah. So I guess I'm going to uh, I'll tear this off and I'll cut into the existing right around this line or just slightly below it. And I'll make that a new reference. Um, but of course, before I tack any of the outer stuff in place, eh, sort of have to fit the outer cab corner to the inner cab corner. Um, I will eventually put the door back on before I, before anything's welded solid. So that's where I am right now. I'm gonna keep going a bit, watching a bit of college basketball on TV as well. So that's a bit of a distraction. So I'll be back. So for fun, I put the inner cab corner in and you can see it's sticking up quite a bit back here. Now there's a flange that goes down on the back of it. Um, and I'll have to trim that, I guess. Um, but this surface here slopes down and it should be pretty flat because the floor is flat there or level. Um, and so that should sit down a little better. Um, this has to come in. It's almost tied up against the inner cab corner here. So I think this whole thing has to go that way. 
and you can see there is a bit of room there but not this much room so all these panels came from different manufacturers so they don't fit the greatest um this is this the steps at the right height um but you can see it's not matching up with the outer outer cab corner um there's close to a quarter inch that has to be uh, adjusted for there. And then this line back here is not good at all. That has to go up. And part of the problem is, well, it'll be this right here, getting pounded more level. Um, it's the bottom roll of the inner cab corner. Um, it's in the wrong place. It seems that it, it comes down too low. So that's gonna have to be hammered up so it allows me to put the the step and outer rocker um, portion um, and the outer cab corner where they belong because that's that's got to meet up and the door has to close nicely on it and all line up here so i can't push the, the inner uh, door support door pillar around the rear door support a little bit there is movement there. And on the seam right here, as of now, it's it's pretty good. There's a little step in here, and this is sitting pretty nicely in it. So that's as much as I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do any welding on this till this all fits nicely. So lots of massaging and hammering to do. And, uh, but, I want to watch the rest of this basketball game and then it'll be time to go in and make supper. So, um, thanks for watching. And if you like the content, uh, please subscribe, um, like, uh, or leave a comment. Uh, all is appreciated. And so until next time, thanks for watching.